It looks like we're going to repeat ourselves this year with more stormy weather to come. At the moment, it's wet and windy across virtually the whole of the British Isles. We've got some really stormy winds in the West Country, for example. More of that in just a moment. It's an area of low pressure, of course, which has been squeezing its way across the northwestern part of Britain in the past few hours. And then we'll see another area of low pressure moving into the weekend. So again, we'll see severe gale force winds sweeping the country on Saturday and on Sunday too. Well, here's the bad weather across the West Country. We're seeing the more persistent heavy rain now beginning to move away to the east. But even so, some heavy squally showers following on, some thunderstorms too, and winds gusting up to about 65 to 75 miles an hour in the next two or three hours before things begin to ease down a touch overnight. But even so, it'll still be pretty blustery with more showers to come. Now, you can see on the radar screen here all the rain that's been moving in from the west. It's moving pretty rapidly too. But there is a back edge to it, and that clearer weather is soon moving into western parts. But even so, more thunderstorms to come, some thundery showers, especially across Wales and the West Country through the English Channel as we go through tonight. So at the moment it's wet, very, very wet in many places, a bit of snow up on the Scottish mountains too. But these clearer conditions will spread eastwards very rapidly. The more persistent rain leaving the east coast, right about midnight I would think. The wind's easing down a fair bit, but even so, gale force winds still likely close to the northwest there, and some heavy squally showers feeding in across southern and western parts of Britain. At least temperatures should remain a few degrees above freezing. It's a straightforward day tomorrow, really, in comparison. Some sunshine for all of us, but some heavy frequent showers in the west, some heavy showers too, moving through the Bristol Channel and the English Channel. Always a chance of more persistent rain with some hail and sleet across those more northwestern parts of Scotland. Temperatures, well, where they should be, really, but the wind, not very good. Still very strong indeed across the north there with gale force southwesterlies. Then the next weather system winds itself up for tomorrow night. And that's the area most at risk of some severe weather during the weekend, northern and western parts of the country with severe gales, but we'll all see some very wet and stormy weather. And that's it from me, just for now.